Boot fans, welcome on in. Thanks to you guys that are tuning in right now. We're going to be talking about some Adidas, Nike, and Puma boots, as you would probably expect. Rich is right here with me. Hi, guys. How are you? I think they're all well, since they all give us a thumbs up. Rumor has it that our thumbs up button is not working on YouTube, so if you guys could just hit it to check it out, or maybe do it at the end of the video, either way is good. Let's get this kicked off straight away, Rich. Let's not wait around. Let's uh, get talking about some boots. And we had some released on Friday, pre-Halloween, um, thanks to both Nike and Adidas. Okay, uh, which one are we starting with? Well, I'm going to pull one of these boots up right now. Oh, hold on. So let's check out the... The F-50s. Ah, the Supernatural package, uh, which... Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Supernatural. Okay. Uh, the F-50s are... It, ah, it's, everything's gone with that sort of tribally... Adidas are really sticking to that tribally World Cup pattern still. And I should, there. I should, I should like it because I like the green color because it's more of a lime green there, but... Uh, I don't know. There's something about the F50s that I, I don't I don't like. Uh, you know, for some reason I don't feel like these boots have stood out as much on pitch. Yeah. As, as other F50s have, which is kind of odd considering the fact that I'm going to pull them up right now. Is the now is the it's coming the Predator version. Now you see those I those which those you are actually like. Yep, no, those you know what? Stand out. They stand out incredibly well in games. Mm -hmm. I was watching the uh, the Palace versus Sunderland game today. Okay. And yeah. there were at least four or five players wearing them, and they you couldn't miss them. No, it's uh, they've it's it's something with the contrast. I'm gonna say with like it's a different side. So it's a different. It's obviously a different shade of green to what's used in the F50s and. If I'm not mistaken, in the back, which isn't featured as much in this image, would be more of a bluish color. But they've definitely gone to that sort of scaled look where it's like it's almost akin to the original Predator in not obviously not in color, but in the idea that uh, it's got that reptilian sort of pattern on the upper. It does. It has like a crocodile skin print. I actually noted um, on Twitter that I thought these looked a little bit like the old F fifty I tunics. Okay, yep. Yep, no, I can see that. Looks a little bit similar. Along those lines, let me pull up one more image, which I thought was pretty striking. It's part of the Adidas PR campaign. It is... This one right here. Again, it's okay. just a striking design. That luminous colorway, it pops a lot, man. And as you said, it's got that rept reptilian style design in it. Mm hmm. I mean, I mean, would I, would I personally wear it? Probably not. But uh, it definitely, it definitely stand, it definitely stands out. Yeah. So Adidas had their. Adidas had their version, and Nike had their version as well, which they kind of released last minute, and I think this was more of a last-minute job where they just created some boots on their Nike ID platform and shifted them out for people to check out. This went out on the, the Nike app, Nike so soccer app, so if you didn't have the app, you probably didn't see them, but yeah. you've got the four main silos, and they've been given a Halloween-style design. Uh, I don't have the app because I have a BlackBerry, so I definitely didn't see them, although I'm pretty sure I've seen the Hypervenom before. And uh, the whole pack is just looking at it. It, it, it reeks, uh, to use a musical reference, it, uh, it, it reeks of uh, being sort of Coldplay-esque in being exceedingly mediocre. <laughs> yeah. You, you can smell the mediocrity just Wait. based on the fact that there's... It, the original release Hyper Venom. <laughs> yeah. Just thrown in. 
just popped in there. Hey, just to know real quick, for you guys that are tuning in right now, because I know there are some of you watching right now, uh, you can hit up the comment section on YouTube. I've got a screen up here where I can see what you guys are typing in. So if anybody wants to leave a comment, let us know what you think of any of the boots we're featuring or any we're talking about, especially if we, uh, if we bring up any facts that you don't agree with. For me, out of this pack, I actually do like the Tiempo version. You know, it has that classic black design, and I think that the orange gives it a nice little bit of pop. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go the opposite way in that... It, out of the four of them, out of the four very mediocre designs, uh, the, the Superfly, uh, just based on the fact that it is the, it's the most like a football boot type idea. And sorry, when right. I say football boot, I interchangeably mean soccer as well at the same time. Just because it's Monday nights and, you know, there's a, there's an oval ball game going on. and <laughs> There is, huh? <laughs> Let's uh, move it on to Puma. One boot we missed last week is the Puma Evo Speed. Okay, yep. The black version. Give us your thoughts on this one. Uh, black and pool green. So what we've done is we've taken the best of the Evo Power Miami Vice Edition in the pool green sort of color and mixed it with a very traditional kind of black and, and it works it's 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 a it's a striking looking boot i uh, i saw it uh, in action uh, the man sit in the manchester derby uh with gail cliche putting that wonderful through ball into aguero who incidentally wasn't wearing the new colorway same boot uh, yeah. for the uh, for the big goal there and uh, it's it's a striking looking boot it's it's nothing it it's not over the top it's not something that you it, it pops in just that Puma's got the right amount of color. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy these. Now, my big, my main question with these is, where did they get the color pool green? Uh, pool green, I believe, uh, comes from uh, public, public pools in the late 80s to mid-90s sort of look. Everything right. was sort of that nondescript, like, uh, medical sort of greeny color. Is this when they had like algae growing on the bottom of pools and nobody really cared? Uh, I'm just, I'm just confused. Bit. I mean, it's I haven't been in many pools that that are that are green. It's, you know, it's it's more. It was more the sort of color on the walls, not necessarily the pool. It was you would go to a pool and all of the walls would be this sort of weirdly aquatic kind of green color. I get you. Okay, I, I missed that one. I missed that one. Well, well, you know, you were uh, you were several thousand miles away back in the days that those pools were popular colors. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so, on to some boot spots, and we got a pretty interesting one, and we've kind of discussed this ourselves, Rich, a little bit, and it's to do with Danny Alves. I'm gonna pull up the first shot right here, and let you. Uh, let you spread your wisdom. Okay, so Danny Alves, uh, this week earlier this weekend was spotted wearing a a a quasi blacked out in that he had just painted over the Nike swoosh uh, version of the Mercurial Vapor Four. Right, uh, Brian. I know. I believe you did a review on that a few years ago, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I guess those boots. Not not anywhere near as impressive as the current range of that. Uh, Boots. Mm -hmm. But it was I, I remember uh, I remember not not particularly being a fan of the design because of that weird little uh, like the, the that cover. Dra that dragon's yeah, like that dragon's neck sort of covery type thing over the laces. Yeah, it wasn't very effective. Um, it was tough to you well, you, you basically couldn't get into the laces. Mm -hmm. So if you needed to swap out your laces or wash your boots, it was like you you couldn't get into it, so it was a problem. Yeah. No, but apparently, apparently, Danny Alves has uh, decided to bring him back, which I'm all for people bringing back older boots. Yeah. So. And he has. So here okay. he is wearing the red version right here, and then we've also got some shots of him. Can you, did that switch images right there? Uh, no, I'm still on. Uh, I'm still on the red. You're still on the red one, okay? Yeah. Let me change it over then. 
Do you think this would be easier to, 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 to switch in between images? Yeah, you, well, you would think it would be, but at the same time. You it's, would think. Okay. Here's number one of the black. So this is the black version uh, he was wearing. So you said the same game, huh? second half, you switched out his Ah, that, that is how I understand it. Yeah, no, against Celta de Vigo in the... Uh, it, these pictures are both pictures that I have uh, borrowed from the Barcelona website. Uh, first half yeah. being the red Mercurial Vapor Force, and then this being obviously the second half. And right. they are the black, I'm not quite sure what, because that's not the best of images, and that was the best of the images that the Barcelona website had. Well, here's another image that I kind of wrote down today. Magic. Oh, magic, yes. And then they so resemble... So I zoomed in, it's not great resolution. But that's what we have, and I'm still at odds to... There. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stake. I wouldn't stake money on it. Uh, yeah. In any. In any. He has, nitro he has worn nitro charge in the past, but that doesn't look like a nitro charge. No, no, exactly. Could be, I mean, could be an F50 maybe. That's what it is. Kind of like an F50 style. Could be an F50. Oh, it's very. Mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. If anybody out there has a, a guess or they know what he's wearing in this picture, let us know in the comments. Do let us know. Yeah, because I'm just, yeah, while I'm looking at it, it's 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 very it's it's older older F fifty Addy Zero sort of stuff, but it looks Yeah, it has a more rounded toe. But I wouldn't but I'm not willing to wager any amount of money on that twenty being bucks. Yet. Where's your twenty bucks? Uh, n no, I'd I'd be happier with the twenty dollars. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna be waiting for uh, some some people's input on that one and see if anybody knows what boots he is wearing. We got a question on Twitter that I wanted to address, and has got it's related to um, different stuck configurations. It's from Sean, and he said, "Can you talk a little bit about?" Whether AG boots are worth it for those who play on both natural and synthetic surfaces or, or grass surfaces. I have right here somewhere. This is my. I figure I could bring these in as well and kind of showcase them, which is my Tiempo's Nike ID version that I give the SC101 treatment to. Ah, oh, yes, the SC101 custom Tiempo's. That's what it is, and it comes in this Irish design. I went with a, you know, the green, white, and orange Irish colors, and then we got the sole plate on the bottom, which is the AG sole plate. With yes, these are ideal for for turf surfaces. It's it's what Nike have done, um, create a very specific type design that gives good traction, but um, they're not so good on natural grass surfaces. I don't know if you've ever wore a configuration like this, Rich, but uh, uh, you know, have you I have. One? I, I have a uh, I have a pair of uh, Trey Cartistas in the AG, and uh, I exclusively exclusively use them on AG. But that's yeah, I, I test in some other stuff, some firm ground stuff, some hard ground stuff. Yeah, occasionally well, even they, when dealing with turfs. But yeah, but they're, no, a I, I only... they're a little bit tricky. They're a little bit tricky on um, on natural grass. So I never recommend these. When people ask, a lot of people ask, you know, they're trying to Nike ID some boots, and they say, should I get these if I play in multiple services? My answer is no. They don't work on multiple services. And and companies have kind of addressed that with their current releases. You can kind of see it. For example, the Puma Evo Speed, and they've gone with a low-profile conical stud. A little bit longer on the Evo Speed compared to something like the Mizuno boots, the Morelli O'Neill which is lower profile, and these are ideal for use on uh, AG and FG surfaces. Mm-hmm. No, no yeah. definitely. Yeah, and if it's, a little, if it's a little bit muddy, you mightn't get away with it as much, but if the surface is dry, anything with a conical configuration is going to be very suitable to go across both surfaces. Well, that's, that's the reason the conical studs were but, and still technically have been the overall resounding choice of boots for 
40, 50, 60 years now. I mean, it's only in the last 15 years that the bladed ideas have come in. And, you know, uh, if, if you believe Alex Ferguson and I don't, they are the cause of all knee injuries ever, which have ever happened in the game. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not sure you're going to get a doctor to give a full, uh, give full agreement with that. If you look at even the Magisas, again, Nike have gone the same route where they've gone, gone the conical. Gone back to the conical from uh, the, the conical. from the 360s, which were sort of bladed. Yeah. So you can see how companies are addressing that, and um, this is the way to go if you're playing on both services. Bladed bladed boots are, are odd. I, I, I've worn some boots that are useful on turf, um, but overall, I find they give too much drag. I I would never wear a bladed boot on turf. Uh, anyone uh, that whole in, that whole idea of oh well you play on turf it's more injuries because it's the way turf is. Uh, the debate is yeah sure everybody I've ever seen who's blown a knee out on turf has always been wearing bladed boots. Always, never seen a conical stud come down. I mean it's that's 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 a terrible sample size. <laughs> yeah. It's just me with what I've seen, but always blades when anybody blows a knee out <laughs> on turf. Unfortunately, sometimes, sometimes I have to test boots there, and I, I'd agree. There's a lot of times where I find myself getting stuck in the surface, and I could see there would be potential that you twist across, twist an ankle, or damage the good old knee. Can't play without your knees. Mm hmm. No, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. Is like, I when I avoid them at all costs, blades. It's just a personal thing. Just don't yeah. feel a hundred percent comfortable or safe on them. But uh, no, conical is the way to go. Uh, unless, of course, you are playing exclusively on the AG surface. Then, by all means, get yourself a pair of AG boots. But if you're mixing and matching, and you just want one pair of boots, get a conical hard ground, firm ground boot. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I have nothing against the AG, so... I have an image right here that you know some information about. What is this image about? This is Marco Royce playing against... Uh, yeah, Marco... R Royce or... R R no, I'm terrible. Yeah, right. Royce, is, Royce is good. Royce is perfect? All right, good. Yeah. Uh, Marco Royce celebrating his goal against Bayern Munich on the weekend. Of course, Bayern Munich would come back to win that game, but what's interesting about that is look at the boots he's wearing. Do they look? They look like an Evo Speed. They are an but Evo. They're not. They are not an Evo Speed. Give Give us the info. Uh, that is an Evo Power with the Evo Speed color, the original released Evo Speed 1.3 colorway. Uh, Marco Royce, of course, being sort of the face of one of the faces of the Evo Speed silo. Get out of town. But has in the past worn the Evo power and yeah so there he is again this is the first time I've seen an image where it was like sort of crystal clear yeah. what he was wearing <laughs> yeah well there you have it he's breaking the norm breaking yeah, no. the norm good spot there Rich you're a man of, uh, you're a man of much information Speaking, I suppose, speaking of information, uh, yeah. Warrior. I don't have pictures for you, and I don't think you have pictures, but Nasri, no. Samir Nasri and uh, Aaron Ramsey have both sort of been spotted wearing the same boot. Uh, it, has, it has sort of like a waffle eyes sort of upper, similar to the Evo, not the Evo, similar to the Nike Hyper Venom. Uh, where, yeah, the upper has that waffle eye sort of texture to it. But Nasri, of course, has been wearing Warrior for a little bit. Aaron Ramsey, as I wrote a few weeks ago, is very much rumored to be heading to Warrior now that his Adidas contract is up. He would be a good lead man, that's for sure. What What is in the pipelines? Any idea? Any hypothesis? I don't know. There's a lot of talk about this new balance switch. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, and we're seeing less action from Warrior. They're doing less promotion. 
um, unless media work. So it looks like there could be a switch to new balance. So, 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 so the possibility is that Nasri and Ramsey are testing out the first ever New Balance soccer boot. Yeah, I mean that's caused some controversy online with people calling out this new boot and saying if this is a New Balance boot that they're taking Nike's design, which is madness, and of course they're not because you can create any style of boot as long as it's not the exact. I'm sure they have their own specifications on the boot. But yeah, I mean there's heavy potential that this is going to be New Balance and Aaron Ramsey is going to be the leading man. And he'd be a good leading man to be honest. Oh no, absolutely. I mean he plays in he plays in quote unquote the best league in the world for one of the big five clubs in that league. So if there's a guy you want bringing a brand forward, there you go. He's a good one. No, absolutely. <laughs> Final thing. Well, actually, we got two more things. You got you got a moment of the weekend. Oh, uh, I didn't put too much thought in it, but yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, thank you to MLS Soccer for uh, live streaming the Eastern Conference semifinals, which allowed me to actually watch the Revolution beat Columbus Crew. But my moment of the weekend comes from the 90th minute with the very cheeky chip from Federico Higuain in his yeah, all black out. All blacked out Adidas Copa Mundials. Do you have a man crush on him or what? Uh, he's a classy player in in the mold of like a Perlo. Doesn't move around too much. Ideal for a player like me who doesn't like to move around too much. <laughs> he is your yeah, he's your twin. He's my type, yep. <laughs> he has a shaved head like I do too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, you guys look the same right. We, we have, have uh, we, got some new, we got some new comments in here. We have Ethan. Our buddy Ethan. Ah, Ethan. Front. Yeah, Ethan thinks that the boots Alves is wearing would be the next generation F50, or could be the next generation. Could be, yeah. That's that's an option, yeah. Very much so. Uh, we got Kickers VB, uh, who doesn't like the Tiempo version. I like, but he loves the Super Fight. Okay, so he. I'm agrees. Not, I'm not doing so, he's, so he's a, so so he's a smart guy. He agrees with me. He disagrees with you. <laughs> yeah, you go. you've got a, you got a fan right there. I've got a fan right there. We we have a shared opinion. It's brilliant. Hey, you know what? I I, I don't mind the super live version. I like the super live version too. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a class. It, it's just a classic looking. It's just a classic looking offering. Just all black. I mean, yeah, there might be a little bit of that glimmer package, but yeah, then just a little bit of orange. My question is, why didn't Nike release that version of the Hyper Venom as a Halloween release? Rather than creating it as the original release, uh, because because the Nike ID Halloween pack again is the cold play of boot releases. It's exceedingly mediocre. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> if you're a cold, if anybody who's a Coldplay fan, yeah. you can send your hatred to me in the comments. I'm not reacting that they are an exceedingly me mediocre band. Speaking of fans, and by the way, I do like Coldplay. So, but speaking of fans, I was a fan of your eBay list that you posted um, this weekend. Good yes. job on that. Thank you, sir. It's uh, a lot of fun. Apparently, from what you've told me, generating a lot of traffic. Yeah, a lot of people are interested in this, and I think what we're going to do now is we're going to run through um, some single silos and try and find as many listings as we can, both on eBay and any other potential site we can find. Okay. Something like, for example, the F50 Altoona, which has actually been extremely popular. But uh, yeah, well done on that. Plenty of research went into it. There are some top quality boots listed on there. Some boots I hadn't really seen before. I remember seeing the Maryland ones, the Under Armour boots. Okay, yeah, um, the Under Armour Customs, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing them a few years back. This is when Under Armour started to come into the market, and I guess they're based somewhere in the Maryland region? Well, they well, no, no, they signed a deal the other year, and they became the official sponsor of like all of the University of Maryland athletics is the big thing. So they did that weird sort of uh, American football kit where it was the Maryland State flag, which is that yellow and black on one side, the red, the white on the other, and it sort of quartered, and they did a 
a football shirt, an American football shirt, which was literally one half was the yellow black, the other half of it was the white, the red little sort of design, and it it was it was a it was an interesting looking shirt. It wasn't the nicest looking shirt, but it was something that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do believe they're situated, the, the, the company itself in the U.S. Okay. is somewhere close by. And I think that's how that, how that relationship was, was was put together. But good job on that list. I like some of those boots. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's one of the top posts on SoCalese101.com right now. And there is a fine list of unique boots on there that people can, can bid on. Some of them are pretty expensive, but... I mean, yeah. it comes with rare and older model boots that you can't find anymore. No, it's absolutely. It's a list. If you guys have any boots that you find on eBay and you want to let us know about them, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, or um, send me an email. Find my email on the website, send me a link, and maybe we'll read it to you on the next one. No, absolutely. And and while you're wa and while you're reading the article, go to the link, go to the links, click on them, and then buy some of them and send us pictures. Send us pictures. I want to see these boots in person. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm interested to to find out if people actually do buy them. No, or if absolutely. This is a style of post that people like to read. So. Yeah. No. All right, Rich. Well, well, I think that's the end of our road. People are probably getting bored watching and listening to us right now. You know what's interesting is if it's a podcast, they get bored listening to you. If it's a it's a, a hangout, they get bored watching you and listening to you. Well, well, the problem for me is if it's a hangout, is I have a face for radio, so I do better off on the podcast. So I only get bored the one way. <laughs> well, you know what? There's two of us in it, so we're all good. I've got the boots <laughs> in the background, and I think that that's what entertains people most. Of that's, that's what that's what keeps us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. We want to make sure that the button is working down below. Leave us a comment if you have any um, any you want to add, any comments you want to share with us. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do it. Thanks, Rich. No problem. See you, Brian.